the president for the first time in 300 and some odd days. That's what I thought. Is having his own by himself press conference where he's going to by himself he's going to be taking questions from the press hmm we're all very curious about the state of affairs here so i can't wait for the questions that to be asked i'm very excited about this the pre-selected ones, you mean? Yes, the pre-selected questions from the pre-selected reporters. Thank you, Kane. I appreciate that. The yes, the pre-selected questions from the pre-approved reporters. He's. I. I haven't uh, actually seen him. It's been a year, over a year. In fact, you could. There's a lot of things that you could do in just a year. In the, in the amount of time that it has been since he's held his last press conference, there's quite a bit that there's a lot. Hmm. All right. So the question, it's going to be, of course, it's going to be literally right after, right after uh, we are off air, which I'm not excited about. I was kind of hoping it would happen when we were on air, but because um, I want to hear it, I want to talk to you about it, but it's going to happen right when we are off air. So know that we're going to have all kinds of audio and all that for you. I don't, I'm just, he's got a lot to lose here. Here's the problem. Because he hasn't done these press conferences regularly, he, it has to be perfect. Because he has a lot to lose. When you do so few press conferences, you set yourself up for a bigger fail. When you restrict transparency and public's, the public's access to you, you make every single public outing that much greater and you give it that much more weight to move the needle. So they, they shot themselves in the foot here. So there's a lot that could go sideways with this. Politico had a poll where they a third of the country gave him an F for his first year in office. You have half of the press that's actually kind of starting to have to come around. And I think the only reason that they're even writing bad stuff about him in the first place is because they want to switch him out. But then you have the other half of the media, and we're going to get into that, that is just completely has their blinders on and they don't they don't want to pay attention to any. They just want to keep denying all of this. But it's really hard to deny just the state of affairs and how much of, I mean, everything's just a mess. Whether it's foreign policy, whether it's, you know, domestically looking at the economy and we're going to go over the absolutely stupid argument that Joe Biden has been in any way helpful for the economy. 